Mickey Hawkins here, West Ham fan TV, on the way to the road, on the road to Sunderland. Um, long old trip, we've been going there for a couple of hours. Um, yeah, Nicky drove for an hour there, I've been lumbering. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, we're, we're, we're in our car today, so um, long old trip to Sunderland. <laughs> Hopefully this will be worth it. Um, we've been to every away game so far, obviously we've got 100% um, league record and we've been to the big boys so well what do you think about this one mate are, are you confident going into this one yeah I am I am really confident I think that with Sunderland they've got to go at it they can't sit back and I don't even think we have to set up like we do at the big boys against a team like this we don't need to you know we can we can go for it today pay but does not that does that not worry you a bit because we've struggled at times when we've played the, the so-called lesser teams you know, does it not worry you that um, that you know we, we can't play that way that we've done against the big boys and got good success because they're not going to be coming at us as, as as thick and fast, you know? Yeah, I know what you're saying, but I just feel we're just going to have too much room today. I just, it's going to be they're going to have spells, but I think we've got enough quality to deal with because they haven't really got a lot of quality, have they? Let's be honest. No, they're not bottom. They're bottom for a reason. I mean, we played Newcastle the other week and they're poor. Yeah, and Sunderland are even poorer than them. But if you're going to go on tradition, the West Ham way is to go there and lose. Yeah. But I, I, I'm very confident today. Does anyone from their team worry you? Um, well, obviously the foe. The foe worries you, doesn't he? You know, and they've got. I don't. Adam Johnson. I don't know the situation is with him. If he's playing today, but he's another good player. He's been sub a lot lately because of his uh, problems and things. So he shouldn't even be on the, in the squads with these problems. No. Uh, no. That's that's for the courts to decide. So what about our team? Um, I'm hearing conflicting reports about Andy Carroll. Some saying he's travelled, some saying he's not. Some saying he could start, some saying he's not even there. I think if, if Carroll's fit and he's in the squad, personally, I'd start him today. I'd play him up front. I think Sacco. he can really get at them. Cabal yeah. is, a, is a shambles at oh, the yeah, back. Yeah. You know, and I think know Shea's not as good as he used to be. No. Nah. But um, where's Brad? <laughs> Baked bean. But no, if he if he if he doesn't play. Then we set up the same Sacco up front on his own. You think he'll, he'll go on his own? You don't think he'll play two up front? If Carroll's if Carroll's not injured, mm. then he, I think he might well, start. That's No, nah, I'd, I'd, play, him as a nah, I'd play the same team. I'd play Lanzini again. I think he had a decent game last week. Looking back on it, it's always good to watch the games back after, isn't it? Yeah. But, um, well, that's the thing about our, our show, isn't it, folks? It's pointy. We don't get a chance to look at no. back, so we, we, we go on we, initial we, we instinct. We do catchphrase, we say what we see. Yeah, yeah, we say <laughs> what we see, so. Um, obviously, if we win this, it's gonna be, it's gotta be our best away start ever. Well, we break records. We'll be the first team to ever win four away games in a row. Really? Yeah. And it's a huge opportunity to do it as well. And I mean, we go top of the league. Do we? Yeah, if we win today, we go top. Because United ain't playing, are they, until oh. tomorrow? Happy days, and yeah, so we can go top of the league today. So, um, what's your score prediction? I'll give it a score prediction if you can. I'm going to stick to what I said last week 3 0. I three think Sacco's going to get two, and I think I think Lanzini has scored today. Do you? Yeah, I don't know why. I'm <coughs> just throwing it out there. Oh, I've, one thing I've, I did forget to mention about Reed. Reed looks like he's he's, he's travelled, yeah, but he's, he's picked up a knock. Could, if he's out. It's gonna be, it's gonna to be tough. But I, think I still Ginge, think, yeah, Ginge can come in in this game. I think there's no pace up front really. Defoe's, you know, Defoe's nippy, but he's not as quick as he once was. Nah. Um, Defoe, the the problem is Defoe will get opportunities today. Mm. So, like he did at the bowling last season. Do you remember? Yeah. He had a couple of opportunities, and but yeah, I feel we can keep him quiet, which I think we will. I uh, fancy three 0 I think 3-1. I can fancy 3-1. I think they'll score. They might even score first, but I think we've got enough quality now to sort of sweep these aside. You know? I think if we get an early goal and they panic, it could be a four or five. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. our, But that's the difference with us now, isn't it? We're going to these places like confidence. Last season, you think, oh, it's going to be a play for a draw under Sam. Mm. You know what I mean? It's good. It's good to be back on the road in our yeah. comfort zone this season. 
It's weird, isn't it? It's, it's, it's strange to say that like, in it's your comfort zone. Especially when you look at where we've been already. I know. It's not our building city. But it's, it, do you know what, right, saying about that, it's the reverse of what I was talking about at the beginning of the season. Because I, I had these, them three games nailed down as losses. I mean, Liverpool, I think you can get at, you know, I, but you, you, we ain't won there in so long. I just, you know, we never win now. But City and, and Arsenal, I just didn't see them results coming. I thought we might be able to scrape a draw somewhere. You know, I didn't see them results coming. But at home, it's been indifferent. You know, it's exactly the reverse. Of, of what I thought, you know, and it, it says something about the side when we've had such bad home form, such poor home form, and we're sitting third in the league and we could go top today, you know, and it says, that really says and something. And the thing is, today's a massive, massive game, because if we win, we've got Chelsea at home next, and I know Chelsea have been playing bad, but it's still a tough game. I think if he figures it out today, Billich, I think he, it might give him the confidence to go on at home and, and play to all the smaller clubs. Because if he figures it out today and it all goes right, he might think, right, he might have a better idea, you know. He's definitely got the big boys down, how to play against the big boys, especially away from home. But I think, you know, today's win is, you know, but to be fair to him, the Norwich game was a bit of a shambles at times. But it looks better. It's, it's, it's looking better every the, week. The, the problem we've had so far this season is that when we play these teams at home, we're coming off the back of big wins, at a big, big game, yeah. big grounds. You know what I mean? Like beat Arsenal, then we got Leicester at home. I know we had Bournemouth after, but then we had Liverpool away. Mm. You know, and then we had New. You know, it's it's good. Like we won at City, then we had Norwich at home. Mm. So now it might be good to play a team like Sunderland away, and then play Chelsea at home. Yeah, I've, I've, I, you know what? I think we we can beat Chelsea at home because I think we could set up as we do away. We can beat anyone this season. Yeah, prove that. Well, let's just hope we can. So I've, um, I'm predicting three points today um, on the road at Sunderland. Two long old two hundred miles to go. Two hundred miles to go. Um, obviously, we'll be doing a daily vlog, a, a, a match day vlog. So you know that'll be up tomorrow. Check that out on post match pint and. All the fan interviews today so yeah yeah check out you know keep on going through the you know we've got equipment now to, to sort of um, upload these videos up quickly so yeah it should be a lot better today we, we get this up and you know you probably see this in about 20 minutes time or something so yeah I know there yeah. will only be about 160 miles yeah away. yeah so um, leave your comments in the comment section below about what you think the score is going to be tell us about the starting lineup Hit a like on this video because the more likes we get, like we've just found out that YouTube give us more stuff. I don't know what it is, but you know we get bumped Sweet. up. You know we get bumped up the, the listings up here for people to see. So leave this a thumbs up. And um, don't forget to watch Scott and Graham's don't preview. Forget, yeah, show. don't watch Scott and Graham's preview show that they done yesterday. Very informative. And uh, see you there. Come on, you ones.